guys so welcome back and we're gonna go ahead and get started right away by carving out our cheekbones now we do want them to look pretty harsh and defined um, just because if you look at like old ventriloquist dolls and stuff like that they do have really really defined features so we're just really gonna be working on carving out those cheekbones and really specifically the apples of our cheeks um, just to get that again very defined look very carved out look and doll like look so I'm just taking the NYX Cream Contour Palette in the darkest shade. And then we're going to go ahead and just buff that in, make sure it's nice and blended. And then we'll go ahead and start to set and really define that shape we're going for. So I'm going to be picking up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light medium. And I'm going to be taking the middle shade, which is Fawn. And just on a regular eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to be carving out the overall shape of the cheeks that I want. So kind of creating like a half circle shape, if you will, right on those apples of the cheeks and dragging it out towards the um, wider part of our face. Just to again, make the cheeks look even more pronounced. And now to kind of buff everything in and um, blend it, we're just going to be bronzing up the cheeks and the temples with that same fawn contour color that we were using before. We're just blending everything out and making sure it all looks cohesive. And to start off with blush, we're going to be focusing, focusing heavily in on the apples of our cheeks again, adding a ton of color there. And so I'm just picking up a BH Cosmetics blush in the shade Flourish. And again, just really packing it on the apples and fading it gradually out as we go. Um, but just keeping the overall color really, really set in on those apples of the cheeks because that's going to be the center focus of the face. Now to draw those lovely lines on our face, I'm just taking a Kat Von D liquid liner in Trooper and just drawing parallel lines. And this is a little bit harder than it looks, so make sure you practice a little bit. Um, and I just start with a very thin line and basically thicken it out as I go. And then to kind of buff it out and give it a more two-dimensional slash three-dimensional look, we're just going to be taking a shadow from the first Urban K Vice palette in the shade desperation and we're just going to be adding that to those lines buffing it in and making it look a little less one-dimensional and then always keep your q-tips handy this will help if you get a little too messy with those lines And then taking that same shadow just on a different brush, again, just adding more color to those lines, buffing it out even more so. Then we're going to draw this kind of upside down U shape on our chin. This is just going to give the effect of kind of a doll-like um, mouth, if you will. So just start shading in that little upside down U like I was talking about. Um, I'm just using that same, that same shadow I used to do the lines, just adding a little less pressure and then just buffing it out with a clean eyeshadow brush. And then just to help myself kind of clean up those lines and make sure they look nice and sharp as if they were painted on, <laughs> um, we're just going to be taking a concealer brush and this is an IT Cosmetics concealer and this is just what I'm using to kind of clean up those lines and it will also help when we add some highlight to those lines later on, again to give it more dimension. 
Now, like I said, I'm going to be adding highlight, and this is a So Susan Statement Skin Highlighting Crayon. And basically what this does is it, again, adds more dimension. That's kind of what this overall look is all about, just adding dimension. Um, and it'll add a little bit of shine to your face as well to make it look a little bit more doll-like and as if it was plastic. I know, weird, but it looks cool. <laughs> And now to start off on the eyes, so I already primed them with some concealer, but we're just going to go ahead and set that concealer with a basic shade using the same Vice palette, and this is in the shade Anonymous, and just pack that all over the lid. Then to add some color to the crease, just so that black doesn't wash it out completely, I'm going to be taking just on an eyeshadow kind of um, a fluffy brush, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit Color in Java. Um, and just run that all along the crease and then we start off with the black shade which is just the same the same shade desperation from the vice palette that we used on the face as well and just basically really heavily focusing it in on the crease and on the outer V of the eye out of corner of the eye just to give it a little bit um, of a cut crease effect And now we're just going to clean up that lower lid just because we want that cut key <laughs> that cr cut crease. Goodness gracious, I cannot speak today. We want that cut crease to be very bold and um, kind of in your face. So we just take, again, that concealer and we just carve out the lid. Anywhere where we got color and we don't want there to be color, just carve it out. This is a really good trick to pick up too if you're really horrible at getting that cut crease effect like I am. This is awesome and it's like magic. You just erase any color that gets on your lid and boom, you have a cut crease. And now I'm just going back in with the same highlight I was using before, the So Susan highlight. And I'm just adding more to the overall face, making it look really, really bright and highlighted again because this will make the face look kind of like porcelain and plastic like a doll. And I did highlight my cheeks as well, really again focusing the highlight on the apples of the cheeks just because that's where we wanted the center focus of the face to be. And now for a little nose contour action, I'm picking up that Java color from the Anastasia Contour Palette first. Um, and to be honest, I don't know a ton about contouring your nose. Um, I just thought it looked kind of cool and gave it like a more plasticky doll kind of look, if you will. Um, so I don't necessarily know that this step is um, necessary, but you can do it if you want. And I'm basically just creating two parallel lines, kind of like how I did the mouth. And I'm just running that down the sides of my nose and then I did add some black shadow to it as well and then I also put some highlight as you can see here down the center of my nose again to make it look a little bit more doll-like And then for the lashes, this was by far my favorite part of the whole look. I'm using the Ardell Double Ups, and these are the 203 Black Lashes, and oh my word, these lashes are gorgeous. And then I'm going to line my waterline with a Wet n Wild Eye Coal Pencil. And this looks like I didn't put a whole lot on there, but really be very religious and do a lot just because the more white you do, the more doll-like your eyes will appear. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to be doing the lips by lining them first with a NYX lip pencil in the shade Cabaret.
and I do overdraw my lips quite a bit just because dolls have like really really big like pretty lips and I don't so <laughs> just go ahead and overdraw if you feel the need to um, and then I'm just finishing off the lips with Dose of Colors Kiss of Fire. Um, to me, on my film, it does look kind of orange, but it is more of a pinky red. And this is the final look, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye.